At the height of the Cold War space race, a launch pad fire killed three Apollo astronauts. It was the first tragedy of the American space program. This week, more than half a century later, the accident, the crew of Apollo 1 was honored with a monument at Arlington National Cemetery. Chris Van Cleve reports. Abandoned decades ago, Cape Canaveral's Launch Complex 34 sits in a seemingly somber silence. Largely off limits to the public, it's where the first American lives were lost, reaching for the stars. Is this hollowed ground? This is. This is hollowed ground because of the tragedy of Apollo 1 and the three lives lost here. Jamie Draper is the director of the Air Force Space and Missile Museum. The incident really shook not only the space program, but America to the core. On January 27, 1967, three weeks before the launch, the crew of Apollo 1 suited up and arrived here for a dress rehearsal inside their command module, 218 feet atop a Saturn 1B rocket. Mission Commander Gus Grissom, a veteran of the Mercury and Gemini missions, senior pilot Ed White, the first American to walk in space, and Roger Chaffee, a respected Navy pilot training for his first space flight, orbiting the Earth in the new Apollo capsule. But three hours into the test, disaster. This is a CBS News special report. America's first three Apollo astronauts were trapped and killed by a flash fire that swept their moonship early tonight during a launch pad test at Cape Kennedy in Florida. The capsule had been pressurized with pure oxygen. A spark from faulty electrical wiring likely ignited the flash fire. It took five minutes for rescuers to open the hatch. By then, it was too late. So again with our Just days before the here. fatal fire, Grissom spoke to CBS and, News. And the possibility of a catastrophic failure bother you at all, sir? No, you sort of have to put that out of your mind. You just plan as best you can to take care of uh, all of these eventualities. And uh, you get a well-trained crew and you go fly. Though the country asked itself whether the moon was worth this human cost, the Apollo program pressed on. Ignition. Less than two years after the Apollo 1 incident, Apollo 7 launched from this complex with all of the lessons learned from Apollo 1 incorporated. And it led to Apollo 8, eventually Apollo 11. Without their sacrifice, the program would not have been reconfigured and we would not have made it to the moon. Go and throttle up. But tragedy struck NASA again in 1986. Obviously a major malfunction. Columbia, Houston, com check. And 2003. Lock the doors. Copy. The 14 lives lost in the space shuttle Challenger and Columbia accidents were honored with memorials at Arlington National Cemetery. But not Apollo 1, even though Grissom and Chaffee were laid to rest there decades earlier. It was a easy visual to see this is missing. Lance Bush runs the Challenger Center founded by the families of that shuttle accident. In 2015, he and many in the space community started pushing for an Apollo 1 monument at Arlington. If you ask somebody what's this country's greatest achievements, I mean, uh, I'm certain that walking on the moon is going to be in the top three, but that was built on the shoulders of a lot of people and a lot of sacrifice and the Apollo 1 crew it's a re really important story, and that can be told there at Arlington. Finally, this week, 55 years after the accident, Apollo 1's story got its missing chapter. A new memorial to the crew was dedicated Thursday. On hand were Chaffee's daughter, Cheryl, White's daughter, Bonnie, and Grissom's brother, Lowell. Well, it was very solemn, long time coming. It's very nice that uh, we could finally get this done. This is all so appropriate for all three of the guys, and I'm very, very proud of, of my dad, and I just sort of wanted to have everybody remember, all three. You know, they were family men, but they were professionals. They were daring, and they had fun, you know. Um, they were just, just great people, and I would like to see people really go and look into who they were. In designing the monument, the families had one request a Latin motto carved in stone, ad astra per aspera, 
A rough road leads to the stars, a message of perseverance that helped carry man to the moon. For CBS Saturday Morning, Chris Van Cleve, Cape Canaveral, Florida. Well, looking at Launch Complex 34 there, I mean, it's eerie, but it's, it's beautiful in a way when you understand what's happened now at Arlington. And people forget how, how much that mission, Apollo 1, changed every, all the Apollos to come after it. I mean, as a child, I always wondered, okay, there was Apollo 1, and then the moon launch was Apollo 11. What went in between, I now know. A lot did. A lot, a lot, of, lot of sacrifice. And as they said, it, is, it was about time. 